in a world where equality is just another euphemism for mediocrity, where participation is more highly valued than achievement, where just enough to get by is the new standard of excellence. There is a small minority of people who fight back against such apathy, who struggle daily to reach new heights. These very few are the hope for the future, the bright shining light for the next generation. They are the ones who will lead us to the places we have never dreamed of, to the undiscovered country, to reach goals only a few can even begin to imagine. Unfortunately, none of those people could be here tonight, so kick back and relax. Prepare yourself for several hours of fun, friendship, fascinating conversation, and fabulous music. All those F's, that's an alliteration and kind of a radio trick. Speaking of radio, you're listening to the most popular radio station in the history of broadcast radio, at least among stations that originate from Chris's living room. It's Curious Times. Your host is a curious listener. Here she is, Chris. Hey, everybody. Oh, yes, Thank you, thank you. Sit no really sit down. Please have a seat, have a seat, thank you. I keep muting you, um, Aaliyah. I'll I'll bring you on in a second. Um hello everybody. It's uh still Thursday because it's not the next day until I sleep, you know what I mean? And I really haven't been doing very much of that due to all of these computer problems. And uh so I was up all night uh doing the factory reset. And uh, clearly, I'm still having some issues because I had, can do not know why half the time the webcam is not being recognized and blah, blah, blah. Stupid. But anyway, it is what it is. Here we are. We finally got it up off the ground. I don't know how my sound is. Uh, and I haven't messed with my sound settings at all yet. And so uh, we'll see what happens. It might be that the sound benefited uh, as a result. But although it's still, you know how when you um, go to your sound settings and you speak into your mic and like on my old computer, like I didn't even have to have it to 100 and the green was filling the whole thing and like I can only get like this much of the, you know, the only way that I can get it to spike uh, is if I like whack on my, <laughs> that's a technical term, if I whack on my, uh, and um, I hate, listen, if you, I knew that you would uh, react to that, Heath. Um, if you can at all wait until Windows 586 comes out, they might sort their shit out by then. And until then, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get Windows 10 if you could help it. You know what I mean? It's bad. It's really, 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 really bad, you guys. So bad. And so I can't even begin to tell you. Anyway, um, yeah, I got to see if I can get my calendar up here. That's one thing I haven't. I'm not. Eh, that was easier than, than anything else has been. You know what I mean? Uh, okay, so we do have Leah Dawn here today. Of course, uh, tomorrow we have Kelly from the Kara Center. And I'm, please take note that I'm trying really hard to pronounce it properly after for a year and a half pronouncing it improperly Kara Center instead of Kira Center so uh, Kelly Sher, she was uh, one of the students that was on a couple of times practicing and she's going to come and help us out a couple of uh, Sundays a month until for August for July and August you know what I mean uh, Monday I have a blank day and I might just go pass out for you know what I'm saying, but we'll probably be here. Uh, Nick Fox confirmed, <laughs> but he's done that before. So Tuesday, Nick Fox. Wednesday, Barbara DeLong. She's solid as a rock, so she'll be here. And, of course, Amy's on Thursday, and she's solid as a rock, so she'll be here. And then this coming up Friday, I have emptiness. And then uh, a week from tonight, it's Kimber. No, no sleep. Really, I laid down at about 3 o'clock, and I know that if I started to doze, it wasn't until about 3.30 or later. And um, I set my alarm for 6, 
but I woke up before, like I woke, I woke up like two times even in that little period of time. So, uh, and then the night before, I really had hardly any sleep too. So, anyway, that's how come I don't look well. Anyway, of course I look beautiful, wonderfully beautiful for a ninety-year-old woman who's had no sleep in three years, right? And uh, <laughs> okay, um. So the good news is I did the restore, but it's but the bad news is oh my god, I just I just I I, I rushed um, and tried to had to access my pictures and my um, music folder which I didn't prop I didn't realize off my hard drive I actually moved it off my hard drive I thought that it was on my hard drive so I didn't bother backing it up like when I did the reset last night. And, um, but it was there in the, in whatever, I have it in whatever. I don't know what it was. And, but every, so I was copying it over, pictures and, and, and music, and I have thousands and thousands of files, right? And, um, I started to look all, every single, like for where I have the name of the file, on every single one of them, the name has been appended. That's the $50 word of the day, you guys. Appended. With, in brackets, the long form ad, ad, uh, date and time, UTC, and then dot .mp3 or dot .jpg or jpg. I'm like, oh, my God, I cannot go on. So I, I'm going to have to, I think, go back onto my old computer, copy the files over from that way, because that'll be quicker than manually changing the titles of every, of thousands of, fold, of files, right? So I don't understand why that happened, but it did. So, But we're up and running, Clownfish is working, and um, yeah, no problem, Aaliyah. Uh, and so now what, what the heck was it? I was going to say, it's been a heck of a, <laughs> it's a long way to Tipperary, it's a long, long way to go. And <laughs> I don't even know where to begin, but anyway, uh, th there was a, a lot of crazy stupid things that happened in the overnight hours with this whole uh this whole thing and so anyway here we are we're here we're here thank you for being here um so Ali is going to be here she is here but now she just had a quick call so um I'm now what they call stalling so I'll get to do a shout out hello Amy Kavanaugh hello Anthony and Beth, hi Beth, um, Christy Who, Dan the Man, and Deb in Calgary, Erica, hi Erica, and Diane in Canada, Heath, 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 Judy is there, hi Judy, and Kimber, who will be here in a week, um, meeting Renee Richards, Sherry is here, Super Natural Radio, and Sandy Wildflower Wind. I'm so... I'm tired. I'm going to have a coffee. You know what I mean? Just chill it out and have a coffee. And um, what was I saying? What was I thinking? I can't remember what I was going to tell you. It was going to be highly educational and informative. And um, no, I can't. I How did that get on there? HP smart friend. I do not want you on my desktop. That just suddenly appeared. <laughs> I don't know. I give up, you know. Oh, I do want to say for anybody that does have uh, um, notifications on Intuitox where you get email reminders or something or any, I don't know, emails. I don't have that set myself. Um, but what happened is like way last year, my account got glitched 
And we don't know how it got glitched, but as of that time, I became like the only host that was unable to sort of like have my own archives automatically archive and show up on my page where I could control whether I wanted to delete an archive or not. And so if, if something, uh, you know, I had to wait until Jenny, Jenny had to actually has been manually updating or manually uploading my archives um, ever since then. Uh, and we finally, we got moved over to a new server, Curious Times did. And so now, uh, people, I am, <laughs> I understand that some people have received hundreds of <laughs> notification emails. <laughs> I am so sorry. I don't send them. Uh, but I think what happened is that with that glitch and everything else, like maybe no, none of those notifications were going out. And so a hundred notifications were backed up or something like that, waiting in line. And like, it was like the beginning of a horse race when they like open the gates and <laughs> I am sorry. And so, yeah, I don't, I don't get the notifications. And, uh, so I, I like, uh, Mia, May, Margie said something the other day on my Facebook and I was like, oh yeah, no, I don't know whatever you're getting. I'm not the one sending it. <clears throat> I had no idea that there was such a huge volume and so uh some of them were dated back to October as I was told and so um there she, I talked to Jenny and she or I, I messaged Jenny and she was probably right that it was because of that and it should it should be settling down but even like as of this morning um uh okay you never got 100 that's good I don't understand really. I try not to understand anymore. <laughs> but uh, so it was uh, due to this, you know, I think that they were all those notifications were being held hostage. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Some of you guys might have ISPs that thought it was like a spam attack, <laughs> incoming spam attack. So again, I apologize. And, if 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 anything like that's happening, do, do let me know. But you don't have to bitch me out about stuff. Just like let me know as politely as you possibly and humanly can, and I'll see what I can do about it. You know, <clears throat> and <laughs> and um, if you don't want to be polite and you don't, you know, and you got some beats, like then don't bitch me out about it, okay? Because I I've been as as patient as I can with that. But I am not patient with that anymore. And um, I don't want, I don't, I, I'm always happy to help people troubleshoot problems. Sometimes there's problems. Okay. Uh, but, and there's one thing about driving me crazy, but to be rude and abusive and all of that kind of stuff, con um, hostile, no, not doing that no more. I'm all, I'm past the customer service uh <clears throat> can't you know what I, and and that's probably because I'm really tired and 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 everything like this you know what I mean and and I have enough of my own problems going on right now I don't need to be bitched out all the time about stuff that's beyond my control and that's there this public service announcement has been brought to you by so um <clears throat> problems, you know, we must have bought problems but in bulk to get a discount. But at least we got a discount and you gotta look at the right side of things. And so anyway, uh okay, that's enough of that. Dalia Don is here, she is the founder of the Kara Center. She's a fourth generation <clears throat> I got see, I got a Leah Don's throat clearing uh chakra problem. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't say problem, but you know what I mean? I'm like being empathic right now. <clears throat> and uh, also, I've been sucking on the, this thing for three days straight, probably. Let me rephrase that, like, because for anyone listening and not watching, <laughs> I held up my e-cigarette when I said that. <clears throat> and so, like the equivalent maybe of smoking, chain smoking three packs of cigarettes a day for three days in a row without 
five hours sleep or something. Okay, she's a certified medium. She's an instructor. She's a, a, a everything, a re, an aura reader, a dream coach, a tutor. Uh, she's got all kinds of courses and things going on over there at the Kara Center. And um, if I'm not mistaken, oh, maybe it was a limited time and it's over, but there was like a two for, a two for, two for one. If you have a friend, uh, then you could get uh two for one um, entry into the, what's in that pipe. Not the, Anthony, if it was anything that was of any, any, use I would be calm and I'd be saying oh go ahead and bitch me out all you want you know what I mean oh hey man chill out it's all good no problem and so anyway <clears throat> it's not that <laughs> or I'd be in a lot 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 more calm state um anyhow uh, Aliyah has studied many different modalities and uh, has had many mentors um, all over the world. And she's been reading and clearing energies, teaching, doing mediumship, uh, teaching mediumship and spiritual development internationally since 2007. You can find Aliyah through the Kara Center website at www.karacenter.com or through her Facebook at uh, facebook.com forward slash medium Aaliyah Dunn. And you can also do a search on Facebook for the group, the Kara Center uh, Facebook group. And so let us now go. Let me make sure that she's ready to go. Yeah, uh, she's ready to go. And um, now I just got to find you. Uh, here it comes. Welcome to the show, Aaliyah Dawn. <laughs> Hello, Chris. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? I couldn't be better, thank you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I like your I like your I like your service message. I like that. <laughs> Let me just say, you know, uh, I try it's to get along. It's awful. <clears throat> yeah. Well, anyway, so how's things? Happy summer, hey? Oh, <laughs> things are good. Things are good. Oh. It's getting it's getting hot. I'm not I'm not a big fan of summer. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite season. So, um, but it's going good. Um, got a lot going I'm on. I'm a spring chicken myself. You know, you and I. Yeah, I like, like spring I like chicken. The fall. I like the fall. Oh, you like the fall? Fall is so is so depressing and and terrible. Like, but you know. When you're go you're in like North Carolina, so it's unlikely yeah. that you're facing minus thirty five degree winters. Um yeah, no. No. you know, no. and Our so and and uh, and like really like uh less than eight hours of daylight. You know? Yeah, no. No. We we <laughs> we, we don't we don't get that cold. Mm mm. No. I think the coldest it gets yeah. here like last year I think it it got down to like fifteen. And that was cold for us. That was really, really cold for us. That was that was unseasonable for us. So, um, so now the but the winters are. You know what? I, I'd almost rather it snow because the winters here are so gray because it doesn't snow, and so it's just cold and everything is dead and it just looks so sad. <laughs> it looks yeah. so sad here, you know. But the fall, I love. I love, and I'm sure like where you are. I don't know. You're in Canada, so I'm sure the fall colors there are just gorgeous. No? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello?
I'm here. I hope there's. Uh, can you guys hear me? No. I'm, if you're if you got muted somehow, Aliyah, press one on your phone. I'm trying to get back to the website. My computer shut down on me. Oh my God! I cannot handle this. I say it's Miller time. We can hear you. Okay. Very good. So, uh, okay. All right. I got to get back over here onto the, sorry guys. Uh, what happened there is malware bytes turned off my computer on me again. So I'm going to get rid of that crap. Um, cancel. Bird's eye view. Sorry about that. I, I trust that there was no dead air while I was gone. Hey. Where's Aaliyah? <coughs> Where's Aaliyah? Aaliyah's call now dropped. Oh my gosh. Hi, Kimber. You're unmuted. What happened there? Can you guys hear me? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. I can hear yeah. you. I was worried. I was worried that uh that my sound bro got broken in between the last three minutes too. You know, so um thank you yeah. for talking. To me. Thank you for talking to me, Kimber. Yeah, yeah. I lost you there for a few minutes, and I thought, well, I'd jump on and try to catch Leah, but she disappeared too. <laughs> now I have an anonymous caller. Uh, if that's you, Leah, press one. Um. And, uh, Aliyah, are you on the call? Because your call doesn't look like it's there anymore. No, at first she said hello a few times and then she disappeared too. <sighs> okay. Did your call drop, Aliyah? What? what is going on? Aliyah, because you can hear me, Aliyah, through your computer. I can see that much. But I don't see you. Who's anonymous? Hello, who's this? It's me. Okay, me, that's me. Queen. Hi, Queen. Okay, very good. Thank you. <clears throat> so, Aliyah, you're not on my screen. You're not called in, Aliyah. Can Aliyah hear me? Aliyah? Aliyah, you, you called her off? Or did she just hang up because she didn't want to be alone? I think we're alone now. There doesn't seem to be anyone around. Am I here? Yeah. I okay. Hear. Oh, my God. Oh, let me see about my webcam. See if it works this time. Alla freaking Louia. Okay. Now, there's the hi down down is there Eric is there hi Erica. Uh Aaliyah. Oh, okay. Aaliyah probably thought that was it and she goes, Hey, I'm off now. It's a merely I was slip out the back, Jack. We can eat same, Shane. <laughs> Well, if you don't come back, we can do some <laughs> some readings or something. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> some <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for a new North Carolina to call. North Carolina. Oh, yeah. It's funny that her call, because listen, I just want it to be said for the record that my computer shutting down had nothing to do with Intuitox and everything to do with malware bytes. I had uh, decided to... Yes, she can hear me through the computer, but her phone call's not there. So if you want, because you're not, because your phone call dropped. <laughs> uh, so this had nothing to do with Intuitox, you guys, uh, and everything to do with, uh, I had decided that I would run malware bytes on my external hard drive that has stuff from two computers ago and last computer and I've never ever uh ran the malware bytes on it. We picked up four uh four four files. So I go well, click yeah, delete them. And it's like the, I forgot that earlier in the day, uh when it picked up something, 
um, it just like it, it, when it deletes it, it just restarts me. You're not on. You're not on the phone long. Um, I bet. I bet you um, punched in the number backwards or something. <clears throat> Try again. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you, Diane. Double check the number and code. Diane put there. Um, for anybody who previously had my phone number on speed dial, because we're wildly popular here at Furious Times, please note that our dial-in number has changed with the new server. And so it's uh, 631-663-1845. It is no longer 631-353-434. There you are. There's Leah. Thank you, Kimber. Hi, Leah. Hi. I'm, hold on, I'm leaving the room. I'm kind of annoyed here. <laughs> Let's just say fuck it and go to the bar, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I do not know why because like, when, uh, when I had malware bytes installed before I did the factory reset, if it picked up anything, then it would just delete it and I would get on with my life. But now, uh, like, it's it, it's deletes it and automatically restarts my computer, which is really ridiculous. It should okay. say to you, we're going to restart now. Is that okay? No, it's not effing okay. I'm in the middle of doing a live radio show, you asshole. Okay. Damn. <laughs> I have no idea why I haven't, like, committed Harry Carey or something here, you know what I mean? <laughs> I know, you probably have that is. Goes on in the last, you know, just been a nightmare. So, um, but the good news is, like, as soon as I fix one thing, ten other things break. But, so I fixed something and then and then my computer went to shit in a, you know, to hell in a hand basket. So, I don't know where we left off. You were taught, I don't know even know. I we're think we <laughs> We're not about the season. It's okay. <laughs> for drinking. Okay. Um, and so I'm so sorry about that. Uh, so let's okay. talk about let's let's get let's get spiritual spiritual. <laughs> <laughs> I am to be on too tired. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm... What's what? Tell me, is that two-for-one thing still going on at the Kara Center? Well, I, I I held it for last night, but, I, but I'm but i going to extend okay. it one more night. I'm extending it one more night because I know that okay. there was one person who was trying to do it. And basically what I, what I tried to do is, um, you know, if there's someone who uh, sometimes people like to come in and do the class as a peer, and I thought, well, it would be, you know, be kind of fun to do, to do a two-for-oneer. Right. Um, or, you know, if somebody wanted to join the class and then donate it to somebody else, you know, donate right. a spot to somebody else. They could do it that way, and so yeah, that sounds. That when I saw that, I thought, what a great idea, you know? Yeah, uh, that's fun. Yeah. But I like stuff like that every now and again. It's good. Well, it's because good some that. people, you're right though. Like some people, like they're if they already don't know your group, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Then they might be like feeling like really insecure to to go into because uh, this is the thing. Like you're coming into a group people online and everybody knows right. that a bunch of women are a bunch of bitches online but anyhow right? um, <laughs> <laughs> um, it you know, can be true, true. <laughs> yeah it, and not every woman and not and there are some <laughs> bitches of men who are bitches too <laughs> you know what i mean um exactly. <laughs> but um like it's intimate it can it, it can already be even among friends you're mm -hmm. kind of really putting yourself out there when you're going to be like, okay, doing practice readings or this, because at some point, you, you know, the teaching stops and the practicing starts and you exactly. got to, you got to start to do something and people get exactly. really insecure and shy and fe they are fearing mm -hmm. perhaps that they'll be ridiculed and, and what are people going to, you know, and people are going to say, like, that I'm a fraud or I suck or I just or whatever. <laughs> and so, 
go in with a friend, maybe that may give you a little bit more of a maybe comfort. Maybe a little bit easier. Yeah. And, you know, I um I extended it. I extended it because it was eight weeks with, like, a two-week certification at the end. And um, I went ahead and I extended it to 12 weeks because, you know, we did four classes. And I sort of saw where, where I, I mean, I could have helped more in certain areas. And I said, you know, when I first developed this course, I wanted to do it for 12 weeks, and I was advised not to. And and they, had, they were like, do it for six. And I'm like, no, I can't, I can't teach a mediumship course in six weeks. Um, it was yeah. very hard to do it in eight weeks. And so yeah. I just went ahead and I extended it. Because you know, I I, I want to get I want to make sure that that they're comfortable and ready. Like when you said, when it's time to start doing readings, you know, they're they're ready to go and do that. And so, um, I extended it twelve weeks, and we're going to do some different little things um, that will help prepare them for things like the radio shows and and like that before uh-huh. it hits. So awesome. I'm excited about it. I am. Go to Kerasenter dot com, I guess, for more information on that. Did it one more time? I'm sorry. Yeah. I said so people could go to caracenter.com. Yep, yep. go to caracenter.com. Yep, go to caracenter.com. And if you go, um, the mediumship course is under the Hall of Acknowledgement because we're acknowledging that spirit exists. Um, mm-hmm. So it's under the Hall of Acknowledgement, and, and you'll click on it, and it's right there, and all that information is right there. Right so I still there. have I right. still have the bug of right. <laughs> not there. <laughs> <laughs> I still have the bug up. I still have the bug up because I know that somebody wanted to take advantage of it and they weren't able to. So um right. I'm hoping that they can get in. Okay, yeah. good, 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 good. Yeah. I know that I'm a little bit overwhelmed right now, but what like I saw like about a week ago or something also on your page, you know, and there were two different Somebody else is teaching also the year you're doing one oh, in two and somebody else. I'm so excited. Isn't <laughs> Chris? We've got um I've ha- had some teachers coming to me. I've talk- been talking to them for a couple months now and about some different courses and so um I've actually brought in some new teachers and some new courses are coming. Uh the crystal course for those people who are interested in, in, in doing crystals. I've got an amazing crystal teacher doing that for me. Um, and I have, going through my mind, I have a fairytologist. How cool is that? Um, a fairytologist. <laughs> oh, a fairytologist. We do. We do. I bet you didn't <laughs> know that. It's so, it's so cool. I'm so excited. It's just, he's going to do, um, like a little fairy intuitive course. Um, and that's, <laughs> oh, look at all the little fairies gathering <laughs> <around>. <laughs> It's really cool. And then I, I have it a, I have a, make a, a little tinfoil <laughs> magic wand or something like that. <laughs> well, you know, and there are, there are people, um, who, who work with, you know, the elements and, Within working with those elements, um, they they actually do work with what we call fey creatures, and they're like the protectors of the elements. And so, so it's really cool. I mean, it's just, it's really different, and it's really cool. And I, I'm I'm just excited about it because I I think it brings a little different splash um, of variety. Well, I would love to talk to that person because I'm I have to, I have I have a sign I have because there's pe- fairy uh-huh. people. Who are all rainbows and sunshine and lollipops, fairy people. And then there's fairy people that know and understand that not every fairy is a little giddy two shoes fairy. And uh, <laughs> no, if he's not actually, she um she was actually in the certified mediumship program, um and uh-huh. she she and she took the the course with Doreen Virtue. She's certified. She's a certified fairytologist. And so oh she's bringing God. she's bringing all of that to the day, which I think is great. And it's really cool because when we have Erica coming <laughs> in and she's doing um, telepathy with the elements, which is you know, and so a little bit of the pagan side is is coming in, and I'm I'm really excited about it because those courses are just they, they bring a different splash, and um, they, you know, people who want a different variety and want to learn. You know things that I can't teach them. I have teachers coming in who can, and so I'm really, really excited. And we've got Anne coming in with her spiritual healing course. There's a lot going on. There's a lot awesome. going on. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Um, and uh, will you do you still have the dream interpretation course and stuff like mm-hmm. that? 
I actually, yeah, I actually had that dream interpretation course running, and I had to stop it. So um, I've got this summer I'm focusing in on the mediumship course. I'm, I'm doing a channeling course and um, spirit guide advisor and the dream course. So those courses have got to be done. So um, that's my focus for the summer. i got a lot on my plate, and I'm excited about it. Yeah, for sure. Good for you. Good for you. And working mm-hmm. full time job in the meanwhile, and yeah, and... well, you know, I put in my notice. Oh, <laughs> I, I did. Thought, I you in... know, did, I thought maybe I was dreaming. Like, did you did you <laughs> say um, somewhere that you know you're gonna be, I did. you know, so that you can pursue full time? Okay, so okay, I did. so this wasn't uh, that was your yeah. real. See, I'm the, it was the line real. between reality and. <laughs> Oh, it's getting a little blurry for me right now. <laughs> and, it was uh, it was getting to the point it was getting to the point, Chris. I mean I was burning the candle at both ends and I'm just exhausted, you know, I'm exhausted and, and I, I had to decide. I'm like, you know, which one which one is more meaningful and of course my work with spirit is more meaningful and so I had well, a lot you of can't fear. Do it justice. You can't do it justice and then no. and, and then so to give it a fair chance to absolutely yeah. What I mean, exactly. you got to be able to vote. Exactly. Yeah, I hear you. There's a I thousand jobs out there. You know, there's there's only one passion. So, I mean, I have to oh, give well, it my best. Okay, you with the wisdom. I would take the thought one of those thousand jobs any day right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, uh, but anyhow, um, good for you. Congratulations. And that's, Thank you. Know, you. That's what it's all about. Unless you yeah. do it and you try. Tell your, yeah, tell your, um, Tell your crystal person that you saw the very best eye agate in the whole world. Do you see that? The what? Do you see? I'm not. I'm, I'm not at the computer. I know because uh, I know because if I was, because he's watching the TV show, so you'd you'd be able to hear that. Mm-hmm. So I can't see what you're holding up. Well, it's an eye agate, but it's like an amazing eye agate, and uh, so you all mm-hmm. just have to go check out the archives. And, I will. Uh, Amazing! It's a beautiful. I got that from uh, gifted to me from uh, Kathleen Moore, but the oh, eye yeah. is just like bulging, popping out eye. It's absolutely, and that's not painted. Like that's natural. Uh, guys, oh, wow, in the chat. And when or if you get uh, to song break or something, remind me, and I'll put it up on the camera. Again, okay. You know what I mean? And, okay. Cool. Um, yeah. So. I was gonna. F- I keep forgetting to tape it onto my where my third eye is and freak everybody out. You know what I mean? <laughs> to get some little sticky, some little stick, sticky, <laughs> double sided sticky, and and, and uh, there's my third eye. <laughs> I had. I did a third eye chakra, and my third eye is open now. You know what I mean? And, uh, I got my eyes on. I got my third eye on you. you know? and, okay. <laughs> So, um, okay, now, you guys, before we get you all, like, calling in at, at, when there's five minutes left in the show, uh, <laughs> what you need to do is if you want to get a reading from Aliyah <clears throat> or talk to her or ask her any other kind of question, you could ask her a question like, about, gosh, you know, I'm trying to learn blah, blah, blah. How do you blah, blah, blah? You know what I mean? It uh, doesn't yeah. have to be for but you can either – Activate your mic by clicking on the little picture of the headset that's in the far upper left-hand corner of the window here. And you do need to have a headset, though. And then just uh, agree to share your mic and then follow the little sound check that they ask you to do. And then you'll be good to go. And otherwise, you can call in at 631-663-1845 and then punch in the code 72495. And uh, get in queue now so that it's easier for me to do my time management. Uh, Erica, are you just listening or do you want to come on and talk, ask your talk or do something? Um, or are you just listening? And Kimber, what about you? I'm just listening. Oh, okay, thank you. Um, I I came because I'm one of the people at the Leah's Care Center. Yes, you are. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh David, are you listening or were you getting in queue here or what are you doing there, mister? I'm just and, listening today. Okay, thank you, darling. 
everybody's figured this out. They know how to unmute them own damn self, you know? Because I've been like, yeah, I'm like, oh, unmute your own damn self. I'm tired, you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, so Anne Queen is there, and that I know that that means that she wants a reading. Um, somebody keeps pressing something. Um, somebody's pressing their one one. Who is that? Not me. He said, he said, did you see who that might have been? Okay. Uh, it could just be my imag imagination. And so really it looks like we just have one. It's okay, Heath. You're allowed to fall asleep at the switch at least one time every nine months. You know what I mean? Um, so it looks like there's just one person in queue for a reading then. And okay. um, so I, what we could do is, is just take that call and then we can come back and talk, have a song break and then come back and talk about whatever we want to talk about. And, uh, and uh, so we'll just go ahead and do that then. So we'll go get uh, we'll go get Queen. Hello, Queen. Hi there. Queen. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah, barely. Not very well. It really helps if a person has a headset, you know, but. Anyway, or come really closer to your microphone, maybe. Well, my phone is in my phone. hand, and it's right up okay. to my mouth. There you go. <laughs> That's like better now. It sure wasn't before. I can guarantee you that. How's Queen doing? Queen is doing well. She's um, editing some pictures while she's talking to you and, and observing herself through photographs, which is intriguing. <laughs> You know, the different faces, the different faces of the queen. So there you go. That's how, how well, you I'm know, they they got a lot of conspiracy stuff out there about the different faces of the queen and the reptilian queen. And the and the queen is really <laughs> dead and it's an imposter queen that's there now. And oh, my God. Anyway. Okay, oh, go God. ahead. What's your question? What's your question? <laughs> you know, um, I didn't have a question. Do I have to have a question? Apparently, I'm. Yes, I'm you do. Husband. Thank you for. No. Well, I mean, well, why? Well, what is the purpose of your call then? You know what I mean? Like that's all I'm trying to ascertain. What can we do for you? Mediumship. Okay. There we go. <laughs> hey, Queen. <laughs> Hi. How how are you? And and how? I'm good. I'm good. So you know, as soon as you started talking, I had a, a lady pop forward. Um, and she is, she's actually a very attractive woman. Um, she's got long blonde hair and she tells me she's a very good friend of yours. Um, or she was a very good friend of yours at one time. <clears throat> one second. She doesn't feel very tall to me, Queen. Um, I think she might have been more on the petite side. Um, but she's she's showing me this beautiful smile, and um, she's almost got like this porcelain skin. And um, I she's I felt like she was very young at passing. Can you understand that? I'm not sure. I'm thinking of a, a couple of people. It could be one. I'm not sure if she's gone or not. And the other one. Um, I keep hearing the name Patricia. Does the name Patricia mean anything to you? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm asking her how she passed, and, and she, she gives me that little finger snap, which tells me that she was here one minute, gone the next. And I get a sense that she was in an accident. <clears throat> and it doesn't feel like it was like a car accident, but it feels like it was just an accident, like something happened, and in, in I'm almost getting the sensation of falling. Mm hmm. Mm. I don't know who it is. Okay. Like I said, it, it could be someone that, um, you said the long blonde hair um, that made me think of her because I don't know whether she's here or not. Okay. She's showing me a body of water, okay? And it's like a, what it looks like to me is, is a lake. And but it, but it doesn't feel like a very large lake, but it's just like a like a body of water that she's showing me. Um, but it feels like it's attached to a very good memory. Um, and, and she keeps showing me the daylight, like daylight hours, and she's wanting me to say daylight. 
Is that helping at all to define who this is or just? Oh, that's helping because the person, um, one of them I'm thinking of, her name is Dawn, but I don't know, okay. what, you know, I don't know that she's passed or not. She could have, though. Okay. And she's like, tell her daylight, tell her daylight. And I saw this this, this nice body of water. Um, and it could be very symbolic, this body of water that she's showing me. Because what I'm seeing is I'm seeing, like, the water just moving and rippling sort of slow, um, and a nice taste, like everything is sort of calm. Um, and so I feel like <clears throat> I feel like maybe this is symbolic for emotion. Um, maybe what you're going through right now. Okay. Um it also feels attached I don't know if it feels attached to a memory, but it's almost like she's showing me like a sign of a beach <clears throat> and and in the very early morning hours I'm seeing like orange and, and pink and um those really pretty highlights coming up. Um, so it's almost like I'm, I'm, I'm hanging out in the morning and I'm watching this come up. Um, and I, I just, my emotions just feel sort of not high and not low. And just sort of on an even keel. Does that make sense to you? Um, did you say the beach? It's almost like, it's, 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 she showed me a body of water that looks like a lake. But it, but it looks like I'm sitting on the beach of this lake. Like I'm sitting on the ground, the beach area, each area, beach area of the lake, you know, the, the sands. Well, I, I, some of the pictures I'm editing are on the beach. Um, okay. So. Okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to see if I can get a little bit more from her. Cough it up, there, lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking her for a month of significance, and she showed me the number two, and then she said February. Um, so does does, it, does February mean anything to you in relation to maybe an anniversary, or she's saying a birthday? Uh uh-uh. No. Okay. Oh. Right. Yeah, go ahead. No, because I just was realizing earlier you said Patricia, and then now you said February birthday, and so then I'm all like, well, I have Patricia with a February. Are you connecting with somebody with a February birthday named Patricia? Uh-huh. Well, yeah, I have. Yeah, I have a, a Patricia with a February. But wait, I think. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Well, she she like she she's if she's not gone, she's near gone. If you know what I mean. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll have to check that out. No, that makes me want to check that out then. Okay. Anyway, maybe that's why I tw- I twigged on that. So. Okay. Um. Sorry. Go ahead. No, it's it, it's okay. Does the description at all? Does that does that does that match what she looks like, Chris? I wasn't paying attention to it all. You know what I mean. So that's what I mean. Like, uh, so. Well, she was a uh, the long blonde hair. Yeah, I don't think that that part does. No, no. Okay. But Patricia, February birthday, definitely. And the beach didn't really. I so we might have just like a a, a jumping line here. You know what I mean? Yeah, I we think may. That they jump. Yeah. We may. We may be just getting a couple spirits coming in. Let me just see if I can. <clears throat> I can back it off a little bit. Okay, so I, so I've asked him just to step back, and I've asked for for Queen for um for for and I get another female energy. <laughs> I have another female energy here with me, and um this woman is very short and very petite, and tells me she's a grandmother figure, and I see her with a big hat on. Um, she's wearing she's like got adornments and a hat, um, and she's holding a cross. So I felt like she was very Christianly. Does that does that resonate with you? That resonates very clear. Okay. Great grandmother. Okay. <laughs> She's saying happy birthday. 
Um, but it makes me feel like when she's saying happy birthday, it almost makes me feel like something new has just happened. Does that make sense to you? Well, I just had a birthday in May, so something new. Okay. Um, okay. Um, yeah, that could be relative. Okay. Mm-hmm. She's actually, it's kind of funny because she's holding a rolling pin and she's she's shaking it. <laughs> so I don't know what she liked to bake, but it's almost like, but it's almost like I, I, I just gotten back from church and I'm getting ready to bake and I've got a rolling pin in my hand and I'm lecturing somebody. Um, so first I have to beat my husband to go cut the lawn and take the garbage <laughs> out and then I'll bake. <laughs> I think she's showing me. I think she's showing me with a, with a, with the image when she shows me that is it's almost like she's showing me like like she was a little pistol. You know what I'm saying? Like like she didn't take no crap from nobody. Like she was really sweet, and but she did but she didn't take no crap from nobody. You know, and um, as little as she was, you know, she she showed her authority. Does that make sense to you, Queen? Uh, it makes sense. I didn't really know her, but I know she was little. You know, her name was Tiny, and she comes. When she comes in, she comes in with the hat, and she's usually okay. described as being small, you know, tiny. So, you know, I don't, I, I really don't know in terms of her, her personality. Okay. Now, was she is is she attached to your father? No. Okay. Because I, I, I kept, uh, I, when, and Chris, you know, was saying her husband, being her husband, but I felt like she was lecturing a man, um, and that's why I wondered if she was attached to your father, because uh, I felt like she was, she was giving a man the, the what for. Um, so I don't know if that makes sense to you, but, but she, but that, that was a sense that I was feeling and she was doing it. <clears throat> okay, well, she did have a husband, so it could have okay. easily been. <laughs> She's showing me lots of flowers. Um, I, I almost feel like I'm walking through a garden. Um, it, it's, it's the sense that I'm, that, I'm, that I'm getting because I'm just getting like a a lot of flowers on the ground. Um, different, and it's like carnations uh, is what I'm seeing, like different colored carnations on the ground. Uh, do you garden at all, Queen? I do. And my and my main my main um successes are with flowers. Okay. I, I almost I almost get the sense that, that when you're gardening or when you're working in the garden it's it's like that's when her presence is the strongest. And I don't know if that's the connection between the two of you. Um, it, it might be like, you know, just a very earthly presence where, where she just, she feels connected to you. It's almost like she's taking on the role of a guide for you, okay? So, um, and, and it's, it's this sense of when she was, when she was shaking her, her, her little um, rolling pin there was um, to take the power back. That's the sense that I got. Okay, so it, it almost feels like she guides you in that way for your strength, your womanhood, that that strength of womanhood. So um, you're single now? Yes. It, it, forgive me for saying this, but it almost feels like there's a lot of healing in the relationship sector for your life. Um, it feels like there was a there was a past um, relationship that that need that needs a, that still probably needs a lot of healing. Like like you grew from it and you healed from it, but it's almost like that subconscious program is still holding on to some things. Does that make sense for you? Yes. Subconscious and conscious. I'm sorry. Sub and conscious, subconscious and conscious. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> She's calling you something else. She's not calling you queen. Um, it, it almost sounds like an M name. Um, so I don't know. Is is there another name associated with you? Mm-hmm. Okay. And that would that would be it, an M would be an abbreviation of of the name. So, but yeah. Okay. That, that's correct. 
Okay. Okay, so she t- <laughs> so so she, if you're if you're not looking for um a, a relationship right now, it's almost like I I I need you to get prepared for it. Okay, but but in order <laughs> to get prepared for it, you 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 need to heal. You really need to heal. Okay, so before you, it's almost like whether you heal or not, it's sort of going to be there. But but the healing part, but she wants you to heal. She really wants you to heal some of this. And it feels like this is really, really important. You do a lot of healing yourself. Do you heal? Are you a healer? Yes. I am a healer. I, I it's That's interesting um, that you would, would would say that. I, yeah. yeah. I am I am a healer. Um, and I am in a situation, I'm single, but I still am connected to a uh, um, um I, yeah, I still live with my prior okay. husband. We still have a connection. She, she's she's showing she's showing me like when like when when I asked if you were healers, like I was seeing your hands like back on you. <laughs> like it was like I needed to reverse that healing and come right back to me. Okay, and so <clears throat> there's a lot of healing and growth, a lot of healing that needs to be done within. Um, before you take any steps, well, you got to take your steps forward. But that he, but she, well, she's encouraging the healing. Okay, she's encouraging that sense of power, that sense of womanhood, and that sense of femininity. Um, that that she feels so strongly that 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 she wants you to get a, grab a hold of. Okay, and so that I, it, it's like that is the reason why she's so present. <clears throat> Is because it's it's almost like you know there was a time when when women were 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 not we didn't have the opportunities that we have now, and 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 she took them anyway, <laughs> and so she's and so I I feel like she's 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 a little tiny thing but she's a pistol, and 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 that is her reason for connecting with you so strongly through this period and through this growth period, and I feel like she's going to be with you for a while. Okay, um, so I really encourage you to connect with her as as her your great grandmother and as a guiding force because she's doing it in a sense of not duty but out of love. Okay, and um, and and there's there's feels like there's a lot of affinity between the two of you. Like there's there's a lot of there's a lot of she sees in you a lot of her. And it's almost like her energy is a part of you. Okay, so I don't know if people have told you that that you remind them of her, but that's the sense that she's giving me. Like I, I look into the eyes and I see the same kind of eye. Does that make sense? Um, well, I've never been told that. Um, of course, it could, it's quite possible that I, I have her eyes. But I've just come from a healing retreat where I was, I taught, I healed, worked on healing myself. I healed others. I was given a lot of gifts and tools and so on and so forth. And I was also shown, um, I was shown a situation potentially step into, if not with that this person, someone, them or someone like them and better. That you know, so your timing of of saying that is is very very relative, and I can I can see still little little things within myself, and I say little because I've come a long way that mm-hmm. still need tweaking mm-hmm. in order for me to really um, you know, move forward to soar in a in a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. So she's just bringing more validation of that. <clears throat> she's just bringing more validation of that. You know. Um, and it, it's this sense of, you know, you're absolutely not alone in this. Like, you've got a really powerful guiding force behind you in that little woman. <laughs> she has lots, lots of energy and lots of really good energy to share with you. And so so if if you are <clears throat> working in those modalities, you definitely can make that connection with her, you know, um, and, and, and really begin just to, to communicate with her because I, I, I feel like, like she's, the, she's so prevalent. She's so prevalent um, and, and it, it feels like it's important. It's important for, for you and all of what you do, you know, to heal 
the little parts that we don't want to look at, you know, and the little fear parts that we don't want to look at, those are the parts that I think that she's trying to show you. And so I think I think by connecting with her and really communicating with her, you'll be able to to start moving forward a little bit. Sounds good. Sounds sounds really good. And and it's timely what you're you're saying. Um, so I very much appreciate the message. I I, I didn't understand that last part, sweetheart. Thank she you. Very so much appreciates the message. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> My phone, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. All right. Well, thanks, Queen. Fun keeping thank you on. Too. Behave yourself, I okay? That. I shall do it's that. It. And you too. Okay. Well, you know, I'm going to sleep for a few days one of these days, and then I'll stay right up. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of these yeah, days, yeah. I'm going to find. Give it a try. You might, you know, you might like it. <laughs> well, you know, if I if if I would have had more time, I might actually like whenever I go do sleep next, <laughs> I might actually like drag my ass up to my actual real bed and like actually sleep in my bed. I don't know if I've actually slept in my bed this whole calendar year yet. Oh wow! Stupid. I know it's crazy. Because I can't, like, just shut down and go, you know? So, like, it, the couch is just, like, right here, right behind me. <laughs> All I got to do is, like, when I, as I go, well, w when I get up away from the computer and I go lay down, I may turn something on, you know what I mean, a, a show mm -hmm. I record or something like that. And, like, within whatever, I'm usually, like, crashed. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, though, I only tend to sleep for about an hour. And then, then I'm, like, you know? So I don't like oh, sleep long wow. enough when I do fall to sleep, and so so then I'll I'll doze for maybe about an hour, sometime between the end of my show and and 4 a.m. and then and then and then usually by by the early afternoon, late morning or early afternoon, I'll try to go force myself to get a few hours sleep there. You know what I mean? It's funny because like I just like and if I get that few hours, like really if I get four. I could, that's okay. Five is better. You know what I mean? But, but what is this thing, eight hour sleep that anybody talks about? What is that? <laughs> seven what? and a half. Seven and a half. You need seven and a half hours of sleep every night. <clears throat> yeah, I can't. She manages, like I, she manages, manages to be coherent and, and, and uh, you know, appears to function very well. appears <laughs> 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 to function. Like, in the, in the midst, if I slept if I sleep that long, I tend to wake up like with a migraine or feeling like hungover or sore because like I've stayed in one, you know what I mean? Like because my old rickety old body or whatever, and I can't handle it. And so um, no windows. Yeah, like coming from a day, like a, a shift worker for sure, Alan. Um, and, Are you uh, in the same room as your electronics, your computer and all that? Yeah. Yeah, you need to get, you need, yeah. See, that's that right there. You need to be in a room with no electronic feed, like no TV, no computer, no. nothing like that, because all that, all that sitting, that's energy that, that you're that's disturbing your sleep. No. Well, well, you need to be in a dark room. <laughs> a dark room, yeah, a dark room. Maybe I should just go commit a crime, and then I can go. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't think you'll be in a dark room then. The I'll be in the padded room. You probably have a roommate and everything. <laughs> I probably would. <laughs> I probably would. Oh, my God. Oh, that's bad. Well, then I can say, uh, get myself, you know, I'll cook up some argument, you know, and like, because uh, there have been um, men who have all, Oh, you have to put me in the women's prison because I'm transgen. I'm like transitioning from male, male to female, and I can't. So I'll be like, you got to put me in with the guys. You know what I mean? And, uh, <laughs> you could try to work that angle. You could try. <laughs> I know, right? Um, and so, uh, yeah. Anyway, okay, Queen. Um, thank you, and um, take it easy. I'm going to do that, but just, just this. Maybe you're not so coherent talking about going to jail, so just for the hell of it. <laughs> get, some, get some rest. <laughs>
<laughs> I know. Well, if I went to jail, I could rent my condo out and I could earn an income that way. You know I mean? like, yeah, well, how could you be sure you're going to get your money? You know, you, would, you wouldn't even be there. You'd have to be doing some serious magic to make sure that that person that lived in your house while you were in jail locked up. Are you going to, oh, and you're going to want to rip off a, somebody who's doing uh, hard time in prison. Hey, you're going to want to rip them right. off, right? Of course. Uh, yeah. Right, of course, of course. The house would burn down and I would collect money on insurance in that case, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> who's going to make sure your insurance is paid? <laughs> oh, that will be paid, it will be paid, it will be paid. It's called pre-authorized payments. Yeah, well, if you go to jail, uh, you better have, you better get those things in order since you're really talking about going to jail. I don't get those things in order. You better don't get you, your... Don't you. Don't you worry about that. I will get those things in order. Anyway, okay. I'm going to park you. Thank you for the For the 16th time. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Now, Karen, I saw Karen there. If you're here for uh, to talk to Aaliyah, press 1 now. There you are. Hi, Karen. Hi. Hi, Chris. Aaliyah. Um, I just had a question. Um, if... Uh, if there, if you had any message from spirit for me, cup some oh. milk and uh, get some bread. <laughs> <laughs> I do need you bread. Looking at, are, are, you, are you looking to connect with a male energy? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've got a male energy, and he's 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 sort of just coming in for me. Um, he feels like he's a father figure, um, so it feels like your it feels like your father, and so I'm I'm trying to to bring him a little bit more forward. And right now, all I'm sort of seeing is is an outline and a shadow. Um, I don't know what is with hats. He's showing me a hat. Um, <laughs> um, he's showing, he's showing, did, did is, is your father in spirit? Uh, my stepfather. Okay. Do you like to wear hats? Because I see a hat, and that's what he's showing me, is this hat. It's like a, it's like, um, God, I'm so bad with this, it's trying to describe this stuff. But it's like, it's like one of those brim hats, you know what I mean? Like a round brim hat. Not like a, not like a cowboy hat, but, but it's, it's, like a hat, <laughs> but like not like, kind of like the Lord, like the Abbott and Costello, or whatever, whatever. Like yeah, the, yeah, it, or like yeah. The or like the Open kind door. that, like the, the, or yeah, the that kind that my grandfather. Guy. Yeah, that could I'm be my talking. grandfather. My okay. grandfather. Yes. Okay. Because it felt like the hat was important. <laughs> it felt like the hat was important. <laughs> and he, you know, as as the as the image started coming forward to me, what I noticed is that he wasn't an especially large man. He wasn't especially um, small man. So he felt like he was average size to me. Um, not overweight. Not too. Not not especially tall. Not especially short. Um, but it was. But it was this hat that was important, and that that made me feel like that you would recognize him. <clears throat> You got a lot of family and spirit, don't you? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, beside him, it feels like there there is a younger male with him. Give me one second. And there's a female with him as well. <clears throat> She sort of she sort of brightened up for me. I saw a woman with with light hair, um, really quickly. She like like I saw a bright light on her really fast, um, and and she stood to his side and was much shorter than him. Um, so it made me feel like it was his wife. So if your is your grandmother passed as well? Yes, yes. Okay, that's my grandmother. Okay, so they're coming forward together. But on the right side of him is a younger male. Hmm. I'm wondering if okay. that's my stepfather or Okay. Okay. Is this is this your mother's father? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, because I, I got I got a very maternal sense. 
Um, and and so, um, oh gosh, he's showing me, and he's he's got a nice smile. He, did he have sideburns? I'm seeing sideburns come through. Oh, in the 70s, yes. <laughs> yes, there's a picture of him with <laughs> okay. real thick sideburns. Yes. Like, it's almost like he's showing. He's almost like he's 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 showing me himself when he felt the best. And so I feel like he was sick for a long time um, at yeah. the end of his life. Okay, because um, usually when they do that, they 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 sort of show me when they felt great. You know. Um, he was kind of a cool grandfather, wasn't he? He wasn't. Yeah. He was okay because he was done to like a traditional granddad. Um, he was really kind of cool. Um, he even held up like a little peace sign <laughs> for me. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know if that's trying to reference the seventies, but he showed up a peace sign for me. Um, and I get it. I, I, I asked him if he was in the military, if, if there was, if there was a reference to the military, and he sort of, he sort of laughed. Um, yeah. So I don't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. But he does show me of a position of authority. So I feel like he was um, in his life, like he had, because he he gave he he came in with that cop type feelings. You know what I mean? Like yeah. like he had he, he had a position of authority, and that's why I asked him if he was military, and he laughed about it. It was almost like yeah, peace. Um, Okay, so he's telling me that the younger male is his brother. Does that make sense to you? Um, it, it could be possible. I, I didn't okay. know that he had a brother. Okay. Um, but, yeah, that possibility, yes. Okay. But he feels, like, a lot younger. Like, he was a lot younger at passing. Um, so it, it it feels like like he, like he feels connected with his family. And I, I, I feel like, like, oh, like, you know, I feel like a lot of your family is there. Um, and there's been, there's been a lot of grieving on that side. Um, okay, he, he's, <laughs> I don't know if he's trying to be symbolic with me, but he shows me apples to oranges. He's showing me apples and oranges, and you know that, that sign that, you know, um, you can't compare apples to oranges. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but that feels like it's part of a message. Okay. Um, he was always eating oranges. I know that much. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, he had he apples and oranges. Guy. Okay. Mm. Sometimes, sometimes it can be symbolic, and sometimes it can be literal. So I like to give it either way. Mm. There keeps being a light shown on your grandmother, and I, I'm not sure what that is, <laughs> um, but it's like this bright light shines on her, and I get this glimpse of this really attractive petite woman with, with light hair, um, and, and then it goes away, and then it comes back, and she's smiling, and, um, and so it might just it might be just a sign to let you know that, that, that she's in a good place, she's feeling good, she's happy. Um, so I don't know if that was a concern for you, but but I just keep seeing this bright light being shown on her. Um, and so it feels important to say that. Okay. I, I'm not getting a connection to your mother. Your mother's still living? Yes. Yes, she is. Okay. Here. Okay, okay, good. Because there, because I, I asked of the mothers in spirit too, because I just felt like there was that pulling, like there was a lot of family there, and there, and there was like nothing. Um, okay. Forgive me, I'm just trying to, because it was being a lot. Is, yeah. <laughs> uh, is there a child in spirit? Um, I'm my um, mother's from my mother, not okay. me, not me, okay. my mother. Okay. And it feels like a young girl. Um, that's that's what I'm seeing as a young girl. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, she's almost like wearing a party dress. 
and details, but she's almost like silhouetted out. So it was like I felt like the con- like the connection may not be strong. Like maybe you didn't know her. Does that make sense? Correct. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't okay. know. Okay. Have you been feeling alone? Oh yeah, sometimes yeah. Because his, because he, he, he said, he said, please tell her she's not alone, and and it's like that's why they're showing me like all these images. It's like these really fast images, and they, and they're 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 coming like really fast. <clears throat> um, and then he showed me the flag. Um, oh. I don't know, I don't know if that's symbolic to you or not. Um, but he's showing me the flag, or the American flag. Um, so usually when I see a flag, it relates to military, but when I asked if it was military, he, he laughed that off. So I don't know if that means anything to you, but that's what they're showing me. Mm-hmm. Oh, we'll probably be celebrating for the 4th of July out here next okay. week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we usually okay. put a so bunch he, of flags up, yeah. Okay. So he, he, <laughs> I didn't even think, but he, he might, he might be letting you know that he's going to be a part of that. But there's a sense that he just didn't want you to feel like you're alone. And I felt like that was important to share, okay? Um, keeps showing me, like, like a house with a window. And, like, I, I, I'm, I look out at the window. Like, the house is in darkness. I look out in the window, and I see all the light outside. Um, and so I don't know if this is a reality that you have, um, but it's like I ponder in that window, and I sort of, like, dream out in that window um it, it's like there's a lot of thoughts like there's just so many thoughts going on right now and it feels like you're bogged down with a lot of thought processes and and trying to figure things out and, and trying to think your way through something right now and i don't know if it, it feels almost financial or it feels like it's home based. does that make sense to you yes yes i was on a trip um in a in like a cottage or like a, a like a trailer but it had an indoor screen and I was looking out the window at the um trees and just like really thinking doing some deep thinking so yeah that's correct that's that that yeah that, that's thinking. exactly what I saw that's exactly what I saw <clears throat> and so it feels like almost like he just wants you to relax from all these thoughts you know, I just want you to relax from all these thoughts and, and all this underlying worry that you're not, like, letting anybody else see, but you're sort of holding them all in, you know. And it's almost like he just he just wants to, like, say, ah, just just take the thought away. Just just okay. take the thought away. And it's almost like there's this sense that, like, everything is going to work out. Everything is going to work out, you know, and it just like it's like one thing after the other, you know. This is the process that you know, I feel like you've been going through. It's like boom, 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 and there's like this never-ending break. But he's like, you know, just just it's going to work out. It's going to work out, okay. And so, so he it's like he just wants to take that, just take the thought away, because <laughs> you're 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 tired. I feel like you're tired. Um, and and I'm, I'm very empathic, and it's the feeling that it's like I feel like I'm like my shoulders are hurting, and I just want to sit down, you know. I just want right. to sit down, and that that's the feeling I get. And and it's like it's like if I could just take the thought away, if I could just take the thought away, you have you feel that energy and that vibrance because you're you're a vibrant person. You're a vibrant person, but but what is going on right now is is sort of sucking your energy, okay? Yeah. And so. Do you meditate? I try to a little bit. Yeah, I try to. Okay, so so try to develop try to develop a, a daily routine for just a little while, okay? And and okay. when you do that, when you do that, I've got a, I've got a great process that you can use to sort of clear the thought. You know, everyone's like, oh, you got to dump your thoughts, and that's not necessarily so. But there is a little process that you can do. It's very very simple. You just sit down for five minutes, and you take a breath in, and you go, I'm breathing in. And you take a breath out and you go, I'm breathing out. And so what's happening is all you're doing is you're concentrating on that breath. And when you concentrate on that breath, you're able to fall into a deeper meditative state where you start breathing deeper naturally. Um, and then in that way, clarity can come without all the noise. You know what I mean? <clears throat> because there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of noise. It's like I have one thought and then something else happens. And oh my gosh, I gotta go. You know, and so, and so I, I just, I encourage you just to sit. And know that that this gentleman 
is is shining down on you. Um, he said, "Health. Is there is there a concern for your health right now?" Um, I, I have to go for a screening um, in August. Okay, so he's saying everything is going to work out. Okay. okay, everything is going to work out. All right. And he's not telling me what the diagnosis is, but he's telling me everything is going to work out. Um, <clears throat> it, it almost gave me the sense that it's sort of related to almost like what he went through, but it's a feminine issue. I don't know if that yeah. makes sense to you, but okay. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. It's like a screening, yeah. 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 So he's saying, he's saying, let, let, let it go. Let it go. Okay. okay. Um, and and know that everything is going to work out just fine. Is there small children in your household? Um, Why am I seeing little kids? Oh, uh, <laughs> next door there is, downstairs, um, possibly upstairs, but um, okay. I don't have any children. But I have a little dog, and then my sister has three kids, and my cousin has three kids. Okay, well, because I saw the three kids. I saw three kids, and that's why I wondered if there was if there was small children involved. Mm. And I go and babysit them every once in a while. Okay. Cousins kids. It it all it's almost like I like like I want to encourage you to get into the to the energy of a child. You know what I mean? I don't I don't know yeah. if that makes sense to you, but it, but it's almost like I, I, I sort of want to take the adult out of you for a little while and just and just enjoy that presence and that that child and almost like that innocence and and it, it that's I feel like it's a very symbolic message when I say that so so please take that and just write it down and and hold on to it um, because I I feel like that will make more sense to you after your screening yes. okay <clears throat> you knew your grandfather very well. Yes, we used to live with him. Yes. <clears throat> He's got a very, very there was a strong sense of love for you. Um, and it was almost almost like a fatherly love. Not so much grandfather, it's almost like he, he took on a father role. Um, so I don't know if that makes sense to you, but I but I feel like like um like almost like you're my daughter, <laughs> you know. That's yeah. the sense I get, um, yeah. and it's it's all in it that that whole apple of the eye kind of thing. Um, and I'm getting another beach thing. Did he? Did you guys go to the beach a lot when you were kids? Um, I did, but probably not with him. We went okay. on trips. Yeah, like little oh, trips. Keep seeing beach scenes tonight. I don't know what that is. It could be very symbolic. If you think about it kind of night. Mm-hmm. He's saying the word rush. Does that make sense to you? Yes, I'm always rushing, rushing here, rushing <laughs> there, trying to get everything done. <laughs> Please take his love and blessings. No, he is watching over you. Okay, and no, no, okay. he's with you, and and there is there is so many that that are like just really just embracing you right now, and and understanding the thought process and the worry, but they want you just to let it go. Okay, uh, and 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 to take, I, I would definitely take on that meditation routine each day, um, okay. and and see how that helps. It just the clarity comes. When the thoughts aren't there, you know what I mean. It's yeah. The noise. We we talk we talk ourselves through the noise, and so <clears throat> I asked him I asked him to leave behind a gift for you, and what he gave me was uh <laughs> and like a little terracotta pot was a little yellow flower, yeah. okay, and <clears throat> and so he's giving that to you as a gift, and so it it's please take please take his love and blessings. Know he's with you. And I, I hope this has helped. Yes, um, his favorite flower was dandelion, so that is correct. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Yes. Good, Thank honey. You. No, he's with you. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. That was very beautiful. Thank you. You're very welcome. Have a nice, good evening. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much. Perfect. Wow. Thanks, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Mute your Thank own you dumb. Mute your own dumb self. Push one. I'm kidding. I'll <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make, oh, she pushed one and unmuted herself again. Hey, <laughs> she hung up now. 
Oh, really? So she just, uh, it's going to be just like that, is it? Get your reading and run. Get your reading and run. Go on. Oh, look at that. Christy has her mic up. I, I'm taking it. Christy wants a reading. Christy, you want a reading? Unmute your damn self if you want a reading. Okay, I'll unmute you. Hello, Christy. Hey, Chris and Leah. Hi. How are y'all tonight? Doing good. How are Better, you? Thank you. <laughs> Chris, I understand the sleep situation. Leah, I'm glad you're doing okay. Myself, I'm like Chris. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Not getting much sleep. No, not. <laughs> but it's my own doggone fault because I don't turn everything off and just say, okay, we're going to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, it's a hard routine to get into. Mm-hmm. I think it started when I was laid off for about a year and a half, and I haven't been the same since. Uh -huh. That'll do it. <laughs> yeah. That'll do it. It sure will. Yeah. <laughs> How can I help you tonight? I was just wondering if anybody on the other side might have a message for me. <clears throat> okay, so I got this really strange sensation um, when you first came on. And I, I had to stop to go get me something to drink because also, sometimes the spirit comes to me in very weird ways. Um, but this to me felt like a very sick feeling, um, almost like a nauseated feeling. So I feel like whoever's trying to come through, um, <laughs> they're coming through and they're showing me how they passed first. Um, and so I'm getting this feeling of, of this being ill. Um, so I'm, I'm just trying to allow the energy to come through. Okay. This this feels like a male friend. And he died. He he passed of of an illness. It's definitely an illness. Um, I, I'm even getting I'm like getting shaky and um, sweaty and head pains and just totally nauseated. Um, and it it makes me feel like it's cancer. <clears throat> It gives me the name of Rick. Is that resonating with you? Is any of that resonating with you right now? Hello? Are you, Christy, did you get muted or something? Hang on. Where is she? No, no, she got muted. Go ahead. Hey, listen, if that ever happens, do you just put, click on your own mic there and you can unmute yourself. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, yes, Aaliyah. Good night, Crystal. I had a couple of male friends that passed of cancer. Okay. He gave me the name of Rick. Did you do you have a friend that passed with the name of Rick that that, that passed of cancer? I don't even know of a Rick. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I may have the name wrong. The, the, like I am so thirsty. I am so thirsty. Like he's making me so thirsty. So I whenever I feel like I'm so thirsty like that. It reminds me of diabetes. Um, <clears throat> and he's, as he's coming forward, um, he doesn't feel especially tall, okay? He's got dark hair, and he's not really overweight, but he's just a little bit overweight. Um, <clears throat> not, not, not obese, but just chunky. Um, Got like a round face. And his hair is cut. It's almost it's almost cut like in a in in like a bowl cut. Is, is that is this resonating with you at all? No, not that I can think of right now. But you know you get amnesia. 
Yeah, yeah. But I, but I want to see if I can make sure that you understand it. Yeah. Let me see what's going on here. Came <sighs> through making me feel ill first. I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> that's so not fair. Um, sure. <laughs> Okay, I'm hearing the name David. I have a couple of Davids in the family. And I'm feeling dizzy. I mean, just totally. He's wiping me out here. Um, Okay. So he's telling me that he, that he had a romantic interest in you. It was never reciprocated, but that it was a good friendship. Now, could Rick be a Robert or Bob? I don't, I'm not going to try to guess. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to give you what he's telling me and see if it makes sense that way. I could be wrong on the name. Um I feel like you knew him for a very long time. Um, I'm seeing almost years of of friendship, very strong friendship. Um, it almost feels like from childhood. Okay, no dicks in your no dicks in your life. <laughs> <laughs> now I did work with a guy. Years ago, when I first started working, I guess I was 19 in my early 20s. Okay. And it was a friendship, but I was not interested in a romantic relationship with him. But he was. But he was. Yeah, because this guy is telling me that he had a romantic interest in you, but it was not reciprocated. Um, That it was a really strong friendship, um, and you became really good friends. Um, through the, through it, and I even feel like I even feel like he went on and got married, and and even had I'm seeing like children around him, so it feels like he even went on and got married, um, and and you even knew him after the, the wedding, um, and was still friends with him. Now that part doesn't make any sense. Okay. Okay. I'm going to ask him just to step back a little bit. Um, okay. I'm seeing, like, airplanes. I'm seeing airplanes. I'm seeing, like, an airport. Um, and I don't know if it was traveling or, or, but it, that's, he's giving me the sense of airplanes in an airport. Is that helping to make the distinction at all? Now, the guy that I used to work with, he went from working the job with me and I think he ended up working at an airport. Okay, cause that's, 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 that's the sense that I'm getting at. I'm getting, I'm getting the sense that I worked with planes or worked in the airport or worked in the Air Force or something to do with planes. Um, that was the sense that my job was there, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, and it's almost like there was a distance. Um, there was a distance, like you guys got distant in, at the end. Um <clears throat> But there was always sort of a kinship. I don't know if that, if, like, there was always sort of that, that, that resonating friendship, that underlying friendship that always sort of lasted. Um, but you were, like, you were, you were memories apart. You know, there was, there was no ongoing conversation maybe every once in a while, but nothing really solid. Mm-hmm. And it almost makes you feel like, like you heard of him passing after he passed, like somebody told you that he passed. 
no, you weren't there. You know what I mean? Um, Show me the most crazy random things. I'm getting, like, pictures of, like, trees <clears throat> in a forest, and it's almost like like he drew a, <laughs> drew a heart on a tree, that kind of thing. I mean, he really had a really strong affinity towards you. He was he was really, really, like, he was really had, was crushing on you bad um, is the sense that I'm getting. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, well I, it's kind of like the only guy I can think of is the guy I worked with when I was in my early 20s that had a big crush on me. <laughs> and it's like, no, you can be a very good friend, but no, nah, I'm not interested in dating you. <laughs> Now, is this guy that is this the guy that worked on planes later on? Well, actually, he worked at an airport. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. So this might be who I have here. <laughs> this I might be who I have. It might be. I, yeah, because I mean, he, he was like, I mean, it was almost like he's daydreaming about you. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's the sense that I got. Um, and he had a great big heart. He had a great big heart, but it was like. You just you just didn't have that that romantic interest in him. You've lost that love. <laughs> <laughs> oh. we, we did have a lot a lot of fun working. Yeah, together. okay. It was a nice friendship for I don't yeah. know for many yeah. years, and then we you know we got different friends. Okay. Okay. So there was that separation. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this this might be the guy I have. Um He's coming forward with roses. <laughs> he's coming forward with roses. Give it up um, already, buddy. Give it up. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's not, but it's not but you know what? It's not in the sense that that is like he's still, you know, doing this from the afterlife. It's more of to let you know that that you're valued and loved. And so I don't know if you're needing to hear that right now, um, but that's the feeling that I got when I saw the roses, is that you need to know that you're valued and loved. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I don't know if there's if there's an issue right now going on um, with a relationship or if you're just if you're just feeling sort of out of sorts. But that, that's the feeling that I got was that you just need to know that you're valued and loved. <clears throat> now, are you looking to make a career change? I uh, might be. The only way that Christy's going to make a career change is if a, if a job like comes and somebody like comes right to her and says, "You, I want you <laughs> to come and work over here." It's the only way. It's the only way. Okay. Right, Christy? That's true, Chris. And I'm, <laughs> wait, I, I'm waiting for that person to yeah. say, oh, what's <laughs> Well, you okay. might be waiting as long as poor, uh, poor Mr. <laughs> Airport Man had to wait for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> <laughs> he's showing he's showing me a bow tie. <laughs> he's showing me a bow tie and um I don't know if he wore them or or what, but he's showing me a bow tie. Um <clears throat> Are you in a relationship now, Christy? No. I'm sorry? No. No. <laughs> Stop laughing, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> It's more the it's more like the I respond to the tone, you know what I mean? And so the, uh, the energy behind that no, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, what what when I saw the bow tie, what resonated for me, okay? Cuz sometimes they show me things that 
that um, are attributed to my life that, that help me make sense of things. Mm-hmm. And so when I when I asked if you were in a relationship, the reason why I asked that is because um, there was a job that I had at one time, and we had this insurance guy who used to who was so handsome, but he 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 always wore a bow tie, and so <laughs> there was this weird 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 part of him, and so it almost feels like. <clears throat> And we call him the bow tie guy, uh, which is just terrible. We should never have done that. But we call him the bow tie guy. Oh, he comes the bow tie guy again. Um, but but it almost feels like there's 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 this this odd synchronicity relationship wise getting ready to happen. And and that that's that's what I what I feel like I'm being pulled to. Okay. Um, <clears throat> So I don't know if you're looking for a relationship or or what the deal is, but but if you will just write that down, just write it down and just just or, or keep it in your mind because it feels like there's there's like somebody who has I don't want to say that they're weird, but that somebody who has something very different about them is coming okay. forward. Okay, okay. Um, that there's some somebody who has more of a what's the word I'm looking for. Um, like a intriguing aspect about them that's different. And so that's sort of what the feeling that I'm getting is like there's somebody different coming forward um, and that it, it's, it's going to be presenting itself. And so it feels like it's almost job-related. So I don't know if this person's going to come by way of work, which is what made me think of the bow tie guy, um, but that's sort of the, the sense that I'm getting. Okay, and so I ask that you just just hold that information um, and, and see what happens and, and see if it starts to make sense as we start moving forward or start moving forward a few days. But that's the sense that I'm getting. It's like there's almost this this different variety coming into your life and, like, maybe that's a good thing, you know? Um, and so... <clears throat> I, I know this reading has been just off the wall, and I apologize for it. But please know that you are valued and loved, and um, I feel like there's some interesting things coming your way. Christine, Mr. Muted again. Unmute your damn self. <laughs> I'm muted. Yeah? I'm muted. I don't know what's going on with my headset. <laughs> no, it's it's the system does that. It, that's definitely in two talks. And, uh, it, it's, it's, sometimes I get muted. Just so uh, there I am minding my own business, playing Candy Crush or something. And I'm not playing Candy Crush, but anyway, it does happen, and I don't know why. And sometimes people just are randomly unmuted, right in the middle of yelling at their husband or something, you know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So you got some interesting stuff coming your way, but just let it, like, recognize it, see it, keep your eyes open, allow it, allow it. Allow it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. Oh, yeah. Uh, open, open for good stuff sign up on your head. Open for good stuff. <laughs> Everybody right now, everybody, put on your little open for good stuff. To do open, hello, dearie, open for good stuff. That's good right. stuff. Come here, and uh, so uh, you will be warmly, warmly received good stuff if you just come over here, and so then there, do that 10 times a day and call me in the morning, okay, Christy? Okay. All right. Thanks, All Christy. Right. Thank you. Christy, Christy, Christy's the famous, Christy's the famous laugh um, on our laugh track, uh, uh, the one that, the one that, like, totally cracks me up man in there with her laugh um okay now if there's anybody there that is here to get a reading unmute your damn self because i don't know who's who's doing what anymore you know what i mean uh alan what are you doing are you just listening nope i'm unmuted can you hear me hey yeah i can hear you now (laughs) (laughs) look it's uh it's uh heath's boss no, I'm your boss. He said um, you're. He, he he says uh, you're his boss. So you know it goes down in tears. You know. I am not his boss. 
I, I because thought again, I want what I want everybody to understand about the boss situation is yep, the conspiracy. To call yourself a boss of anybody means you're paying somebody. I did. You're not you paying returned it. Somebody. When you okay, so he brings it up again. Okay, so now, hey, Aliyah, Don, have you ever been like a server? Have you ever like been a waitress or anything like that ever? Hello. Hello. Can you hear Hello. me? Let no me know when I can ask my question after you're done. Did I get hello? Can you hear me? I can hear can you. Hear can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So have you okay. ever been a waitress? Have you ever been a waitress? I have, I have never been a waitress. I would make okay. a horrible well, you waitress. Do, you do understand the concept of if you like if you pay somebody one penny, that that's sort of a great insult. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Not for Chris. So Alan, Alan thinks Alan thinks that he gets to be my boss because he sent me one penny through PayPal. This is oh, what Chris no. said. Chris said, "Pay it me." Sent, he didn't say how much. I said, "Pay me," and he's like, "Oh, blah, blah. and like so." No, but the point is, is like I think it costs more to send it back. You know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, yeah, Ooh, uh, you've been better off not sending anything, Alan. <laughs> Yeah, like he he still doesn't get it. He, I just want to make the point, Aaliyah. It. She got it. No, no, you didn't get it. See, she's she's upset with it. me. You're gonna get it. I was fine until you brought that up again, and you bring me back to a post traumatic stress reaction here. Uh -oh. And, and um, so no, if you pay me a penny and I re and I return it, you are not my boss. Hey, that was a lucky penny you gave back. Right. You guys don't even, we don't even have pennies anymore. We don't deal in pennies in Canada. In Canada, like if you, if you, if your bill is like uh, 527, you give yeah. them 525. If your bill okay. is 528, they take 530 and don't give you change. A lot of our U.S. is going to get ready to do that too. So take your penny. <laughs> put it in your put it in your hey, loafer. Put it in, hey, put it in I your loafer. I put my lucky penny back. Put it in your loafer or yeah. something or somewhere. If you have some place where you could tuck it away, Alan. Sorry, Ellie, I got right her going. There. Tuck it right in there, okay. Anyway, you want do you have a question for Aaliyah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know if Aaliyah can see when my my left knee is ever gonna heal. It's like bothering me, bothering me, and bothering me and just won't stop. Okay. Start being nice to me, and I will take the pin out of the little booty doll that I have. Oh, oh, no, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me. I feel like you need to have something else done with it. Have you? Uh, I feel like there's already been somebody in it, so I feel like you need to have something else done to it. Um, yeah, so I, yeah, you're right. Somebody has been, they already did the, um, the MRI and anything, and all I did was pinch my cartilage, but it seems to not want to feel good, even though I didn't tear anything. Mm hmm it, it, it feels like it's, um, let me just a minute, because it makes a little bit of difference for me to switch from the, but, but it feels like there's, like, like they're missing something. Like, like somebody needs to actually go into the knee. Um, so I feel like you're gonna have to have something done to it. Um, okay. actually physically done to it. Because I, I, I feel like even though they did the MRI, I, and for whatever reason, Alan, it feels like it's in the back of the knee. Um, I feel like I wanna go to the back of the knee. Okay, so it feels like that's where it is, and it's like they're, they're missing it. There's something in it. I don't know. Maybe it's not, he it's has a pinched serious. nerve somewhere. Maybe you have a pinched Actually, nerve Actually, it's somewhere. the front inside center of the knee where, where I know, but I, but I feel like it's something that's what's causing it is something from the back is what's causing it. It feels like it's putting pressure up forward. And that's what it feels like. It's almost almost like a spur. Um, is what it feels like or what, it, what, it, what I'm seeing is like almost like a spark and it's like 
in the you're back. Seeing, you know what you're seeing? You're seeing my foot. I have actually, I do have a, a like a bone spur in my right foot that's against. Oh wow! The yeah, actually, <laughs> that's that's awesome. So but, uh, okay. I'll go back to the foot doctor soon. Okay. Well, they're gonna have to do something to that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm, yes. We'll just I'm have to go in and um. Take it out. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, right, just saw it down or whatever. Mm, yeah, that's exactly. That's another pinch he has in me. Okay, so that's where I was. I was in the foot. Um, as for the knee, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't see anything, but that's what I just saw something from the back pushing. It looked like a spur. Um, so, let me see if I can go into this. Let me, let me just try something different. So did it hurt worse after you had the procedure done? I haven't had any procedure. Uh, the, it was feeling fine. I went but to then you had an the MRI, and now it feels worse. Now it feels worse since I got yeah. released from the doctor. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. That's that's okay. <clears throat> I I think it's going to be fine. I I say I say give it another because that that's exactly what I saw, Alan. It's like it was fine, and then you had that, and it like it hurts now. Um, and so I think, I think it's like Chris just said, I think it's like a pinched nerve. So I think it's just something that needs to work itself out. Awesome. Okay. And Chris, take the pins out of the voodoo doll. But, How many voodoo dolls of me yeah, do you have? Yeah, it's funny because, you know, 10, I don't know why I was thinking that it was your foot and, uh, and, and spurs. I didn't hear you say knee. And, uh, I was going to say spur, but I was waiting for my chance. And, um, and then, and then I'm like, oh, it's me? I thought it was his foot or something like that. And so, yeah, it's my left anyway, knee and my right foot. <laughs> that's funny. It's true though that it could be that uh, due to, uh, uh, due to, um, like oftentimes you'll get a compensatory injury. So if something is wrong somewhere else, because the hip bone's connected to the thigh bone. Right, because the one foot's doing more weight than the other to compensate for yeah, one. You might have tweaked yeah. something uh, that way. And be careful or it might get to your low back and be really nice to me or it will get to your low back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I would never, ever. I, I, I think I have the power to do that, but I don't. Oh, you don't anymore. scare me. I know I don't scare you. I know I don't. I don't engage in those kind of terrible things. No, no. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I don't. I really don't. I used to when I was I young. I thought you made uh, exceptions for me. Nah, not even uh-huh. you. Not, not even, even me, Not even you. Not not even the people I hate the most in the world. Oh, I, mean, I, uh, yeah. I, I have to try that. harder. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just give, give, give me a chance to like, uh, you know, the funny thing about Alan though is like when something really bad happens and I'm like really, then all of a sudden Alan turns into a human being and you know what I mean? He shows uh, compassion. Or, human being? Or he, What's that? <laughs> what is this thing? Human I thought I was an alien. I was I was watching a, a move trying to in the middle of the night in the middle of the night and there was a there was a documentary about like uh, the uh, Neanderthal and uh, how um, Homo sapiens came and wiped them out. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. um, so I and I was hot seeing like visions of Alan, I'm going, that is where Alan, like, so especially when you put those teeth in Alan, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, he I love just those like teeth. That guy. He looked just like the guy. And so then I started going, like, I wonder if, like, the people that look more like that, like, if they have more Neanderthal uh, DNA in them than, than people who look like me. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, do you have some friends on the? Do you have do you have a couple buddies on he the other have side? Any friends? Oh, I got all kinds of people on the other side. I, I just I it's just a vision. It's just a vision I want to share with you, and so I'm gonna share it, and then and then and then I'll go. But there was there was three guys. Um, they were all sort of joined together, like like you know wrapping their arms around each other, and in the center, and this is the guy I was focusing on. 
Um, I seen a guy with dark hair, a little bit heavy, and he just he just, he felt like he was a really good friend of yours, and he it just he just smiled, and the vision went. So I just I don't know if that resonates with you, but that's what I saw. Yeah, I agree. I, a lot of family members I, I think are around me. Okay. Well, there's somebody who just it just felt like a lot of love, and it just. It sort of felt like, you know, like brotherly love, but in a in a guy kind of a way. You know what I mean? So it, it felt like it was a good friend of yours. It was just a, just a vision for just a minute, and it uh-huh. lasts. But... Okay, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> so, um, mute any, your last down parting, off. any last parting words there, Chris? No, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, here, I want to ask you guys if we're going to, okay, so first, hey, please stand by, Alan. Aliyah, uh, so yeah. the time has come, and I know that you're ahead of us in the time zone and a very busy, tired woman, so um, <laughs> I want everybody to know that they can find you at the Kara Center on Facebook, and yes, yes. Uh, dot com. that's K-E-R-A yeah. for anybody that's listening and not watching, and um, uh, Medium Aliyah Dawn on Facebook. Um Guys, go check out if you, if Alan, if you had a friend, you could get the two for one, uh, you know, mediumship course. But you don't have any friend. You have to have a friend to qualify for that. So, you know, that's what I get. Get. I thought I could buy a friend for a penny, and it didn't work. Darn it! I know. You see, it's gonna cost. Now you, Leah, you will you be my me. friend? I'll be your Goodbye. friend. <laughs> hey, Goodbye. Donald. Could buy me, but it will cost you a heck of a lot more than the buck. A, a penny even. I I'll mean, just have know, to put it in the bank money. and wait until it gets interest, and then uh, maybe in a hundred million years, I'll be able to be your friend. Maybe, yeah, in in a few lifetimes from now or something like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> and so, okay, so let's let let's let Le- uh, Leah Dawn get off the hook here, and yes, uh, and um, tomorrow we have one of your former students coming, um, and that'll be exactly. that'll be fun. And she's going to be helping us out uh, a couple of times a month. Uh, uh, on uh, two Sundays a month uh, for July and August. That's Kelly. Oh, and, awesome. um, wonderful! Yeah, so she can do that. She contact she she and to her credit, she contacted me and she said, you know, uh, you, if you have some empty spots or whatever, I can help you fill them. So that oh, was okay. unsolicited, and she just came and offered. And so awesome. she said for the summer, but then when it's uh, when it's fall, she probably won't be able to spare that kind yeah. of time. But that's good. So, um, so Aaliyah, until next time, thank you so much. Thank uh, you luck so with much. All of, the, uh, all of the courses and, and everything like that. And um, we'll you. talk to you soon, okay? Yeah, have a good night. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. Okay. No. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, really, I insist. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so all the rest of you guys, uh, we can either go to Dorothy's show or do overtime. And I'm taking... If anybody wants to stay and do overtime, then stay and do overtime. Or we can, uh, we, uh, it's, uh, I don't even know if, um, is she, is she on? Does anybody know if she's on? Let me just quickly check, uh, in two talks and see if there's a post. Uh, come on now. Oh, stupid. Okay, there we go. Uh, Coming up at midnight. Yeah. Looks like she's there. So, um, too tired. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, how you doing, Donald? Um, don't be bossing the guy around. Oh, he's home again. Home again. Uh, Donald. He doesn't have his mic activated, you guys. Um, so now are, are we, uh, if any, not doing well? Damn. What the heck? I'm going to try and put his mic on. Because he probably keeps like running around all bare chested, showing everybody his scar and he's getting an infection. Loeb? Who, who's that? Lisa Loeb. Who is that? Waiting patiently for Donald to get his mic working. And oh, oh, you mean oh, won't you stay? Just
just a little bit longer. Okay, I will. All See what right. you get when you sing to me? <laughs> <laughs> um, come on, up. Alan. I mean, Donald. Donald. Yeah, Donald. Right. Donald. The Donald. Okay, there he is. There he is. So let's hope your mic works this time, yes? Does it work? Yes. Yeah. Good. What's going on? Nothing. I'm pissed to the rafters. Pissed to the rafters? They threw me out of the hospital. Oh, they threw you out. Said I What's, was why did you? Home. Oh, you're fine. Now, why did you go? What What was going on that you went back in? Well, the same thing. I was in pain. I couldn't breathe. All this here, it all yeah. infected from the hospital. Infected, yeah. What did and, I say, uh, guys? And the same thing. And I went through two days, and they said, you can't stay any longer. Wow. Did they give a reason? Yeah, they said I was fine. Oh. So, you, so they got you on some heavy antibiotics to get rid of this infection? No, just uh, told me to put, uh, what do they call that shit? Uh, acetracin. Okay, back huh. that's, a, that's, a, that's a strong one. Doctors think uh, they, they send you out with no information. Oh, well, uh, do you have... send me home with a bunch of pills, but didn't tell me what the pills were for or why I have to take them. Well, just uh, know, Donald, if you start feeling bad, keep going back. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't listen to them because I know they kept telling me I'm fine. Quickie wheel gets the oil. Well, yeah. I'm going to my primary doctor, which. Is another joke because he never, never came to the hospital to see me the whole time I was there. That's real nice. Um, I mean, that, that's he didn't bring questions. you flowers or anything, bastard. No. He was swimming in the pool that you put in his backyard for him. That's <laughs> 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 just. Uh... And then they put the stethoscope on you and they say, "Your stomach upset?" No. Are you breathing okay? Well, not really. So, oh, do you have any headaches? No. All right. See you next. See you tomorrow. Do they have you, like, in oh. rehab yet? I, I, that's Good night, I went Jerry. to rehab. Yeah, he's been through rehab. Um, he's, what, six weeks, seven, six yeah, weeks post-surgery? It's been 46 days in the hospital. That after two weeks in rehab... I was out. And I was out for seven days. I had to call the ambulance to go back. Jesus. Now, do you are they sending somebody to your house, like a day nurse or anything like that, a home nurse to to? to I, don't, I, don't, help? I don't want that. I don't want that. Well, but at least here. they're lame. They yeah, don't okay. do anything either. Well, you go, go to a pharmacist then, go to a nearby drugstore, bring all of your pills with you, and tell them, ask them, what are each of these for? And what, what, why am I taking them? Pharmacists should, yeah, they're pretty good about that, I think, pharmacists care, you know one what I mean? One of the pharmacists is a friend of mine, so that's going to oh, help. Oh, perfect. perfect, perfect, perfect. That's a good idea too, Chris. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment, Alan. That's so unlike you. <laughs> that was the yearly one, so um <laughs> That was enjoy. annual, yeah. That was Very my good, anal uh, anal compliment. I mean, annual compliment. I'm Thank good. you, Alan. <laughs> Very good, Dr. Thanks. So that kind of sucks, um, Donald. But again, yeah. you know, the worst place... Kind of like you said, like you got that infection in the hospital. Like it's kind of like uh, sometimes the worst place to be is the freaking hospital, you know? No way. No way. And uh, so thing hopefully is, your farm, what's that? The thing that taught me the most was when the guy's filling out this paperwork, 
And you know, I got I got a, a whole book here full of bullshit paperwork. You know, you have the right to this, you have the right to that. Uh, now, now they have uh, appointments set up for me. Huh? Doctor Dunton, who was the surgeon surgeon for the uh, heart surgery, saw him once the whole time I was there. Yeah. But you might think that uh, they gave me a whole thing that thick of what not to eat. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, that heart diet sucks big time. I remember after my aunt had a heart attack and she wound up having one of those fucking defibrillators embedded into her, you know, like in, in, uh, into her like collarbone area or whatever. That's disgusting. And, uh, and um, has that and the thing stopped on her. Oh my gosh. Gotta get off. I'm all like, with everything that breaks down around me, the last thing I want is every time something breaks down, they're gonna like cut me open again. Forget that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me carry it, or I'll just carry it around with me, okay? <laughs> like, let's just have one little wire hooked in there, and I'll just carry it around with me, and uh, and that way, if it malfunctions, we can uh, we can get it fixed without carving me open again. Um, but yeah, when my aunt came back out and she had her rehab, and then. Uh, I remember going shopping with her and oh my God, like it was like took forever just to get shopping because you couldn't have this, couldn't have that and label reading and, and, uh, and you know, big time with that, no salts and just it's about so every good. damn thing out there has salt in it, you know? Yeah. Well, I found out through a friend of mine who's a, um, not a diet, yeah, a dietitian, I guess, does it all natural, you said that you allowed 2,000 milligrams of salt a day. You have to just watch package and what you eat so you don't go over that. That's right. But well, and that's the problem is that, like, it just is hiding in everything. And so certainly no added salt. You know what I mean? No added salt generally because... So, so because already you're probably at your limit just like with the hidden salt and stuff that you wouldn't even think there should be sodium in, you know? And it's everywhere. And I'm a salt freak. Like, that would be one of the worst things that could happen to me um, is, is you know, um, I would just start eating sweets then. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I can't, I couldn't eat like pasta without salt and I couldn't cut down on the nicotine. Yeah, well, I don't know if it's really nicotine as much as smoking cigarettes. You know what I mean? That's the problem. But I, what do I know? Well, how, what what milligram of uh, vape are you using? Zero. Zero. No, no, no nicotine. So there. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. He's actually you're right. That that makes sense. But I think more so than caffeine. But. I mean, less so, less so than caffeine, but caffeine and um, and uh, nicotine are pretty close to each other in terms of, uh, which is why I say like that's not the worst thing in a cigarette, you know, nicotine, and uh, and so. Um, no, if, you, if you look at the chemicals they put in it, nicotine yeah. is nothing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And are you you are you can't have coffee and shit and you can't have tea like you can, you have to have like herbal tea instead of tea tea because of the caffeine in tea or are you allowed caffeine? No, I have coffee all the time. Mm-hmm. The only time I have decaf is in the evening if I'm you know so I don't it'll keep me awake. Now in the right. hospital, in the hospital you had all the coffee you wanted. Yeah. Somebody can I get a cup of coffee and they brought it into you. Yeah. Well, you could shit and smoke in the freaking hospital room back in the day. <laughs> back in the day. Now you see these here? Yeah. You get one, you can cover one in the hospital, $50 fine. Hmm. I had how many? Did, how, much, how much did they hit you up for? <laughs> I'll tell you what I did. At one point, I took a pen, and I took everything out of it, and I put paper in it, 
close it back up, but I was using that. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they get used yeah. to seeing me do that. So when I brought this out, nobody was any the wiser. Uh, see, I oh, would I just like, be. just, I would just like put my head under the covers, take a puff, put my head back up. Because it doesn't, the smoke doesn't linger in the air long enough, you know, to matter, really. The only thing I had to do was stuff it like that so they, they couldn't see the blue light. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but you wind up paying more more money in fines than, oh, my God. Silly. Anyway, is anybody else calling in or what, guys? So so here's my little story. So this is, so it's like, I think about one, you know, like I was kind of determined to do this factory reset, and, and it's no small joke to do that. And um, so I get, and I'm like double checking and writing down things and getting my, my, you know, my, um, my, key, my, key, you know, social, uh, what do you call it, like the serial number and the, the product key and all of this kind of stuff for my, you know, getting everything. And so then I go and I go to start and I'm like, okay, so now there I am. I'm at the moment of, you know. And I go, okay, let's just do this. And like, I had a couple of options. You could just like, you could just delete, you could just get rid of all the, you could like reset all the settings and all the apps, but not lose any of your files. Or you could just go ahead and wipe it all out and and start back with the same machine that you started with. And I go, well, I don't want to waste all this time to find out that I still have some kind of problem lingering. And so, so I factory reset. So I, I push the button and all of a sudden I get this warning that says, you've recently been upgraded to Windows 10 and doing a factory reset will, doing this reset will revert you back to the previous, you know, operating system. I'm like, hold on there, Roy. Like I bought, I thought this thing was a brand new Windows 10 machine so then i'm going whoa i don't know what was in there before you know what i mean what if what if what if i wind up with windows 8 that could be just as bad as windows 10 and so 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 then i had to go and i looked around and i then i got on with the hp support live support and that's a whole long drawn out effing process and so i'm like so finally come to to Finally, after like, you know, 40 minutes, well, I had to wait for the person to come on and then they go through all the stupid bullshit that they have, you know, blah, blah. I'm like, really, I just have a quick question for you. And I, oh, but we will want to do blah and can you please give us a phone number in case we get disconnected and can you blah and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, I just have a question. Christ sakes, it's one o'clock in the morning and I want to just get this thing done, you know. 130 or something when I connected with them. So anyway, after this long drawn process, um, she guarantees me that no, like it's a Windows 10 machine. And I go, well, why in the world would such a, a warning come up then for somebody? You know what I mean? And waste another, you know, so it wasn't until about 3.15 or 3.20 in the morning that the thing finally got underway. You know what I mean? This restart. And I'm just like, oh, my God. You know? And uh, so that was, that was, the, the, the whole Windows 10 thing is stupid. No, but uh, the point, uh, Eric, is that, yeah, I get that. But you're into a whole nother, you know, I didn't want to have 24 hours of, restarting computers you know what I mean and and I didn't know what like it was supposed to be a brand new Windows 10 and it was a brand so why Microsoft on a brand new Windows 10 machine would you have such a warning even come up you know good night Alan why 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 oh why oh why oh why oh why Anyway, there's my thing. That's it. Nobody's playing with me. <laughs> if oh, you know really? what I mean. <laughs> you think you got problems, Donald? <laughs> yeah, really. 
And, hey, I gotta, uh, I gotta so... tell you, I gotta tell you a funny story. <laughs> I was in the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. I was in the hospital. The uh, they have these foreign doctors, students and stuff, right? So this this doctor comes in with a foreign doctor. And I'm talking to him, and I had what they call a pick line over here. What that is, they don't have to go search into your veins. They just use that. Yeah. So when I was getting ready to leave last time, I said to this doctor, I said, now, you know, what happens with the pick line and all that? He says, they'll take it out. Anything you don't use, they'll take out. I said, I said great. Take out my penis. I ain't using it. The foreign, <laughs> doc, the foreign doctor goes, you can't do that. You do that, you can't be. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's so funny oh my god that is funny do that you can be <laughs> well yes you can they can just put a catheter in you shove it right into your bladder and there you go I had one the first time I was in the hospital yeah ouch I don't want to know I, I, I cannot handle it I swear to God, if they tell me I have anything bad, I'm just going to let whatever it is take me. You know what I mean? I cannot subject myself to that stuff. Seriously. I promise you that. And so, um, well, so I anyway. Like when, I, don't like yeah, when the doctors, I don't like when the doctors get, like my roommate. All the doctors are telling them, you've got cancer. You've got cancer. You've got a year to live. This and that. Finally, a doctor came in. They did the series of tests, and no cancer. Jesus. See, like, they should have to, like, that's pain and suffering they subject somebody to when they do that. Traumatic, you know what I mean? People should be able to sue for that, bastards. Then you then watch how the doctor the doctors all of a sudden would believe in in miracles God God given miracles because they'd say oh the cancer was there God must have cured it oh wow yeah God must have took it back yeah <laughs> you were healed Jesus Christ came back off the cross and healed you and uh, you know Jesus. Well, I think we're uh, we're dying out here, kids. It's um, 10.25, so if anyone wants to run over to Dorothy's show, she's on. Uh, she'll be on link. probably for... And, uh, she needs a link, so hang on a second. Um, oh, I know where I can get the link. Uh, please stand by. <clears throat> I cannot stand oh, by. Okay. Yeah, you have no legs. <laughs> and uh, copy link location. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. There you go. There's Dorothy's link, you guys. Yeah. So um, tomorrow I have uh, Kelly from the Terra Center. And uh, hopefully I will have had a little bit of sleep uh, tomorrow night. Uh, Donald, I hope you're feeling better. Everybody else, have a great rest of the night. Thank you for coming. And uh, we will see you back here the next uh, next time. So we're out of here in. Help me, Donald. Three, two, one. Poof.